Hi, it's Libby. Um, it's 9-9 of September, 9th of the 9th. So um, a change day. Nine is about change. So today I made a video this morning about making um, almond milk, plant-based milk, um, which somebody wanted the request for the recipe. So I thought I'll make um, a little uh, video for her and for everybody else. So that's I posted that this morning. Um, what else did I do today? I went down to my studio I did a class at 1.30, Pilates and yoga class, and one of the ladies who came, she's really into recycling and um, and not putting plastic in, obviously uh, she's trying to also not buy as much plastic or food in plastic. So she was saying to me, there was actually um, a website, I think it's called something, um, Leicestershire Live, because I live in Leicestershire. Um, and it had a, a list of all the things that we can recycle. And some of them was actually quite interesting. Things like cling film and some of the cellophane and stuff like that can be recycled, apparently. So, you know, um, check it out. If um, it's, it's if you put in, if you Google something like, um, what can I put in my bin in Leicestershire? There's a list. I think it's through the Leicester Mercury. So if you're local in Leicestershire, then this will be interesting for you to check that out on Le the Les Leicestershire Live, and there's a link to the Leicestershire Leicester Mercury. Um, you probably, if you go on the Leicester Mercury website, you probably have a list there, but it was a whole list, and there's quite a lot of stuff on there that um, I didn't realise can be recycled. I'm not a big fan of recycling because it, it is a resource and it costs money, and it's quite expensive to recycle, um, so I try and avoid it best I can. So I think I made a video a couple of days ago and I mentioned it's, I think I'm going to save over 60 milk bottles going into the recycling bin by having the milkman deliver me my, delivering my milk. So that's kind of a good thing. Anyway, going back, so she gave me the, um, the list of the, of the recycling, which was interesting. And I've kind of found this since I've been doing this nine, it's nine days now that I've been doing this, um, zero free plastic people are helping me and things are coming through i mean today there was loads of fruit at the, the studio somebody again left uh, apples and pears and just said please take me and people were just walking by and i thought mm, nobody wants these pears i'll i'll have them and they're delicious i have them on my breakfast and i have them as a snack um so again free food i went out to my little allotment this afternoon this morning it's not an allotment it's just like a veggie patch and I managed to get some, I've got them over there, some raspberries, um, autumn raspberries, which were delicious. So free food and some blackberries off the, uh, the vine there. Or is it a vine? A bramble, I think it's called. Um, yeah, so um, I went then down to Leicester Whole Foods, took a, a drive down there uh, to check it out. Not been there for quite a while. And I wanted to check it out for people that live in Leicester because it's a, a really good place to go and buy... Um, you know, bags, big bags of uh, dried fruits, fruits and grains and, um, you know, rice, all the staples, basically. So I went there and um, it's it's interesting place. It's never, it hasn't changed since the like, 1980s. It's still the same thing, shelves and shelves, and, and it's more like a whole, a cash and carry type place. Um, there's nothing fancy about it at all. Um, it's very, very... Um, my kids would say it's very me. <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or, or, or whatever, but anyway, um, I went in there with my bag and, and I bought a few bits uh, and I picked up a few things. I picked up some rice, I picked up some dates, some raisins and a bag of, uh, what else did I buy? Oh, dried pears. I've not had for a long while. So anyway, so I get to the checkout and I said to the guy, oh, could you just check these? I'm doing a zero free plastic 30 days challenge. I'm um, not buying anything in plastic. So could you just check these two products or these four products are wrapped in um, compostable bags? And he said, oh, I think we have a problem there. He said, we've we've not got any compostable bags. We've not had any for a while and we're using cellophane. I'll just check. And he said, no, those two bags are compostable bags, but these other two are cellophane. And I said to him, well, why have you gone back to cellophane? Basically, they'd run out the compostable bags and the, the company had actually been uh, given the um, non-compostable bags, the cellophane. So they would never break down. They're, they're super strong um, and they're apparently good for food because they don't leach plastic. 
Um, so you can, you can according to this, this uh, website for, for the recycling list, you can actually um, compost, uh, not compost, you can put these bags in the recycling bin. But I didn't want to buy them because I'm not buying plastic. So I had to put the two products back, the dates went back and the rice went back, everything else I bought. A couple of things I bought in jars and I bought some oranges and a few other bits of fruit, okay? All organic um, and they've got a good selection and they've got cucumbers without jackets on. <laughs> so I can go there and safely buy a cucumber without the cling film all around it. Um, so yeah, so that was a good day uh, in a way, a bit disappointed. So I might have to just go back to buying from Real Foods still because I wanted to use them as a local products that I could, you know, buy locally and not have them delivered halfway across the country. So I'm going to um, go online tomorrow and I'm going to do some research in buying bulk, buying, um, not bulk, um, loose things. I, mean, I don't remember years ago in the 1990s when my kids were probably about 10, um, I'm talking late 1990s, and I used to go shopping with my mum on a Friday. My mum and dad used to come and they'd help me with the kids and things because they were still little kids. And we used to go to these scoop shops. And my mum used to go and buy a scoop of bran flakes and a scoop of sugar and a scoop of raisins. Like these massive tubs. And it was all, you know, it put in plastic and they put the little um, seal around them and they put the price on them and they'd weigh them and they'd tell them how much it was. And my mum used to go every Friday and get a scoop of bran flakes. I don't know why she didn't buy a big bag rather than keep going by these little bits. And I look back now, all that plastic, you know. So, you know, it would be great if we can go back to that situation where these things are there. Um, I did watch a video um, online, yes, a couple of days ago, I think it was Saturday night, one lady who's just done a 30-day um, challenge. I, I, I didn't know people were doing this besides myself. So she actually did the 30 days and she was a photographer. Her, her video was brilliant. You know, she's a professional uh, photographer. So she was, certainly wasn't doing it on a phone. Um, but she was talking about these, like, I call them bulk shops. And there's a lot in London where people go, they take their own containers, their own paper bags, their own uh, Tupperwares or whatever they use, and they go down there and they, they buy um, their products. So she went out and she showed you what she bought. She bought some olive oil in a, in a bottle. She took down and she got uh, stainless steel containers to put a quinoa and rice and so on. Um, I think they do things like washing up powders and, and liquids and, uh, uh, you know, laundry things as well as products for the bathroom. So that's something I would like to look into because um, I buy a particular brand of shampoo and it comes in a bottle. Those bottles, yeah, they will, um, they will uh, recycle. The actual pump that comes, you know, the pump thing, that is not recyclable. You can't put that into um, your recycling bin. That's one of the things that was on the list. So I have to take the, the, the recycle, you know, the, the bottle, put that in the recycling bin. And what do I do with the pump? Um, you know, I'm, I'm a, a reflexologist. And uh, so I use a, a pump action for my, my work because you don't want to be putting your hand in jars and things. So it's, it's hygienic. Um, but what do I do with the with the pumps? You know, that's another dilemma. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Um, if anybody knows the solution, please let me know. Um, you know, you can recycle a few of them, but you know, if you've got a few of these over the year, you, you can have a lot. So that's a little bit of a, um, a thing I need to look at. So I'm going to do some research on that. Um, I um, can't think of anything else I want to tell you. Oh, something I did want to mention. So this is a little bit of a, a chatty, really chatty evening. Um, a few years ago, I was involved in uh, Eat Food. Um, oh, was it Love Food, Love Food, Hate Waste campaign? And I was employed by Leicester City Council or Leicestershire County Council with another friend of mine. Her name is Jo. Um, and we used to work together. We we're both adult education teachers. So we used to go in to the big um, domestic science uh, buildings in, in colleges and we would present um, people, showing people how to cook food without the waste. And I was actually appalled at how many people, one, couldn't cook, didn't know how to cook 
And two, how much waste people um, actually threw away. The biggest thing we throw away is bread and bananas, apparently. Um, and bananas, you can, if you get a black, sort of, going to, you know, a little bit black, you can make banana bread with it. We can make a banana loaf with it, and it's absolutely delicious. You chop some chocolate with it, and you can make a banana loaf. So I remember, I was just thinking back to that time, and we used to go in there, and we would... Uh, obviously, we had to go and buy the, the food because it wasn't um, in our, our cupboards because it was a mock-up. But it, we had a recipe book and the idea was, and this is what, what got me thinking, the idea was that somebody was shown how to make this, these um, different recipes and that they would go back to their uh, neighbourhood and they would invite their friends and family and neighbours to be to show them how to make this um, particular recipe and the idea was not to throw waste away food away as waste to actually use it in cooking I'm not a big fan of eating leftovers and things like that but you can certainly you know if you cook too many vegetables you can use that in a salad the next day or in an omelette or something like that there's always ways of using it up um, so that is what made me think about the, the um, Love Food Hate Waste campaign. And as I say, if anybody else remembers that, it, it must have been about early 2000 and maybe about 2010, 2012, maybe, maybe about 2012. But I remember doing it and it was really interesting because the people actually thought we were teaching them how to cook. <laughs> we used to give them a recipe and the ingredients and say, get on with it, basically. Um, we had to go around and show people how to cook. Um, some people didn't, could even use a knife. It was it was very eye opening. So um, the reason I've I've started this YouTube channel is not just to talk about the thirty days of, um, of of zero free plastic. It's to raise your consciousness and your awareness of actually going back to basic cooking. Um, you know, and you don't have to do anything exotic. You know, it can be very basic stuff. I have. I cook for myself every single day and I use the products I've got around me and um, and try and eat seasonally, which we used to do years ago. I had a friend came round on Friday and we were discussing this and she was saying that, you know, her mum and dad, they didn't have a lot of money and they used to eat um, very seasonal. You know, they didn't have a lot of um, imported veggies and stuff. And I think that's kind of what where we've gone wrong and we, we do buy too much stuff, you know. So years ago, we'd go out and buy maybe just for two days of shopping because we didn't have the money probably to buy too much and also uh, the storage and we didn't have big freezers and, and stuff that we've got today. So it's been a bit of a, you know, chatty day today. Um, you know, it's been a good day. I made myself some hummus. I made, um, what else did I make? Some hummus. I've just... Put some things aside. I'm going to make some crackers tomorrow. I've got a beautiful dehydrator which I bought, so I'm going to make some raw crackers. I might show you those and show you how I make them. You do need a dehydrator, unfortunately, um, but um, yeah, it's all it's all good. So getting kind of late. I'm going to get off to um, have a little relax and maybe just do some meditation, some breathing and stuff before I go to bed, so I can relax. Um, and tomorrow, I've um, got a busy day, working most of the day, but in the evening I'm going to do a bit of research. It's been a really chatty video, it's uh, sort of like 40 minutes or something, so I didn't realise I could chat so long to a, a phone. <laughs> um, anyway, have a lovely, lovely rest of your Monday, and I will catch you tomorrow for day 10. I can't believe it's day 10, but anyway, if you're watching these videos, please like, share, uh, subscribe hit the little bell button on the side of the subscribe and you can you'll get notifications of me posting another video so tomorrow hopefully won't be quite so long and have a good day all right then bye